believe it or not, I am riding with a, uh, a viewer. He actually came out here to try and meet some guys to ride and uh, nobody showed up. He thought I was one of them, came over and he's like, wait a minute, I know you. Yep. So I decided to ride with him for the day. What the hell, it'd be nice. And I am back at Gorman. Jeez, I haven't been here in about a year and a half. I couldn't believe it. It's been a long, long time. I came here to test out a bunch of things. Um, a couple of new camera mounts and... I got new bar risers. I'm checking that out, see how those feel. Which, actually, it's phenomenal. Anyway, we're just going to hang out and ride and see where the day takes us. Oh, and I am riding great today. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's because of the bar riser that's changed positions on the handlebar. Whether I'm just having a good day. Man, I just feel like I'm one with the bike. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm having a great day. On the bar riser, I actually got a bar lower, if there is such a thing. It's actually lower than what I had, uh, so it's it pulled the bars down a quarter of an inch and towards me three quarters of an inch. Oh wait! Oh oh oh! Is this it? I think this is it. So. The bar is finally back to where the, the natural, uh, the stock position is, but it is higher. Uh, it's a three quarter inch rise. Um, Cause I, I, I mean, I have all sorts of neck and back problems. The reason I use bar riser to begin with is so I can be more upright. Really helps my neck and back on long rides, but now that I've gotten so much better at riding, I can tell I'm in the wrong position. I think this is one of my favorite trails. See how it's, whoa, how it survived. Oh, <laughs> dry ruts, not good. going up the side of the trail. Oh, I'm not doing this very smoothly. This stuff is Way soft and very, very slippery. Whoa. smoky can you smell the fire look at that that's all smoke 
I wonder where that's coming from. Look, I didn't say anything, you know, I had, I had the news on this morning. The only fire I know about is the one in San Bernardino. Right, no. Unless the wind's just blowing this way and it's collecting right here. What do you think? Yeah. It might be, I don't know. Well, there, it wasn't like this yesterday. Oh, yeah. It was up here yesterday, it was, it was just clear as... Clear. clear, yeah, no, that's all smoke. So yeah, there's got to be a fire somewhere around here. It's really getting smoky. Really smell it. You can see over that way that it's uh, very dark. So uh, yeah, hope it doesn't come over this way. Ranger, and he said, yeah, there's a fire just a couple miles from here. Started on the side of the road, side of the freeway, and uh, it's headed our way. But they said they jumped on it with everything they had, and that uh, we should be okay. It shouldn't make it to here, uh, but they're not evacuating this area yet, but you just got to be... Uh, Uh, you just got to be careful and keep an eye out for it. So if we see, we start seeing flames, you'll know why the video ended quickly. Yeah, we were going to head up to those mountains up there, but uh, all the smoke is up there. I don't want to go up there. Plus, I don't want to be there if the fire moves over this way. You get stranded up there and can't get out quick enough. So we're just hanging around in Gorman, have a little fun. We're gonna head over to Freeman Canyon. Is that what it's called? Okay, we just stopped here at Vic's Trail. It's kind of the entrance to this canyon that gets really rocky. I have not been here in a long, long, long time. Really curious to see what it's like. The dead ends at a uh, waterfall. Obviously, there's not gonna be any water now. It's, it's too late in the season, but... You get here at the right time of year, it's really, really nice. Oh wait, oh we go left, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, here are the rocks. That's new. Must have just fallen. I was going to try and go around that way. was rocky. Wow, was I having some good speed through that. Woo! That, that was rocky. So we walked a little ways to the base of the waterfall, and obviously there wasn't any water. It was much too hot and dry. But it was nice to, to kind of walk back in there.
I guess it's becoming, oh here, I gotta go up this, tra this trail. It's becoming to the point where now I know I can make it. Oh, come on. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> jeez. Come on. more speed. It's uh, it's coming to the point where I, I don't wonder if I can make it through rocky sections like that. It becomes just how much energy I can conserve or how much energy I'm going to use. Wow, I'm still not comfortable on this stuff. So now I'm trying to learn how to be uh, much more energy efficient through those kind of rocks and just learn how to relax. Because that's usually where you waste all your energy is being so tense that you don't flow with the trail and you also slow down too much. You gotta keep your speed. You have to have some speed to get over that stuff. Anyway, that's my take on it. Well, we're heading back to the truck here. Ooh, it's a little hotter than I thought it was gonna be today. Oh, I think I've had enough. I wasn't really gonna have a huge day today. I just wanted to practice and have a good time and test out my new things. So thank you so much for joining us. And uh, I guess we'll go this way. I will see you guys uh, on the next video. Take it easy out there. Whoa, wait a minute, don't click that link. Otherwise I'll just be talking to myself. Oh, that's all right. Go ahead, I'll see you later.